hello GOTC newbies. This video we're going to talk about the smithy. Um, this will actually end up being a series of videos. I'm going to do some basic, basic explanation about the smithy. Um, and then I'll do a more advanced crafting video, um, which will take many to go over this whole thing. Okay, so let me just give you a basic overview. This is your smithy here. Um, if you click on info, it tells you um, you can manage your gear, upgrade gear, synthesize materials, craft high quality gear. Um, you see that the level that you have your smithy leveled up to gives you a little extra um, forging speed and steel crafting efficiency. Um, so how fast you forge things and um, how much steel it takes, uh, depending on the level of your, your smithy. So if you go into crafting, you're going to see um, recipes, event gear, equipment, materials, and armory. I'll do a whole video about event gear. Um, I'll do a whole video about your materials. I'll do a whole video about your armory. Um, and um, in this video, we'll focus on some basics, okay? So if you click your recipes tab, um, it may not show for you up to this 25, okay? Um, if you're brand, brand new, it may just show you level 1 and 5, and that's okay. Um, the levels here correspond to your house level um, up here by your picture, okay? Um, you see that this is a house level 23, um, which means the highest level gear I can make with this keep right now would be 20 gear. Um, so that's what this is. This is why your house level matters. Um, level one gear is what we call non-event gear. Okay. Um, this is your basic wooden bucket. It just uses basic ingredients. Um, you know, level five, you start seeing event gear, which is the, you know, these at the top that have this little trophy, um, that you see, um, that means it's an event gear. Um, it's part of a set that has special features. Um, to find the non-event gear, you go way down here and you see how this wool bandana does not have a trophy. That means it's not a piece of event gear, um, meaning it doesn't require any special ingredient to make um, or advanced material. Okay, um, and we'll talk about those in more detail later. Um, so that's just your basic. These are helmets um, here. Um, there, this button, you know, there's chest pieces, pants, boots, rings, uh, swords, and trinkets. And I will do videos on all of these different aspects here. Um, these correspond to there are no trinkets um that can go into your armory so um trinkets are a little special i'll do a whole video over trinkets um if you notice at the top here we have filters okay so if you say man i need some cavalry attack gear then you can apply the filter and the only thing it's going to show you is gear that has those stats that you're looking for. Um, if you say, man, I just want, um, you know, gear that's going to help me gather some resources faster, um, and you apply that, then you'll notice that under here, um, there's gear that'll increase your wood production or um, increase troop load or... Um, how much you can carry away from things, uh, how much each, you know, the troops can carry, um, iron production, that sort of thing for rings and, and wood production. Some of the gear in here will help you, um, empty those, um, farms and sawmills and things faster. Okay. So that's how you use your filters. Um, this right here shows you how much steel that you currently have sitting in there to work with. Um, you press the plus sign and 
the blue buttons that say use mean that steel that's sitting in your inventory or you can buy steel pressing that button this one is just kind of frustrating uh it just shows you if you've already leveled up ingredients what um you can make that you know can be legendary um i only level up the ingredients when i go to actually make something um within the game um event gear right here um, this is where you can find all these different specialized gear set. There will be certain creatures that only drop a special ingredient that's required to make this. Um, for instance, Tyrell Highborn gear. The special ingredient is this little um, first one, this little blue looking thing. It's actually called Floral Silk. Um, that'll be dropped by only a specific creature during specific crafting events. Um and so this is what people mean by event gear. Non-event gear is going to be like your wooden bucket, your wool bandana, um, things that don't require that. And it'll always be found by scrolling to the very, very bottom of each level of the gear you can make. Um, your equipment tab, this will show you how much, like um, right now, this is the level one equipment that I own. Um, you can see what pieces are equipped or not equipped. Um... Let's say I click on a specific piece of gear, right? Um, I can unequip it from here. Um, I can click back on it and I can equip it from here. Um, if it's unequipped here, um, you'll see it's a display option. That just means that I can display it in my armory. Um, I'll do a whole video on the armory. Uh, so basically, um, those are some different features when you just click on the equipment tab, materials tab. There's two types of materials. There's your basic materials, um, which make those non-event gear pieces. And they're required to make every um, piece of equipment is going to take some of these basic materials. Okay, do not go into this tab and start jacking with it, like clicking here and telling it to upgrade it will make things such a pain when you're crafting. Leave it alone. Don't upgrade it from here, okay? Take my word for it. And if you click on this little um, anvil at the top corner, um, it will literally show you every piece of equipment that requires that ingredient to be made. Um, and there's a lot of basic ingredients, okay? If you click on your advanced materials, these make, um, the ones with the trophies are needed for, um, a special ingredient for one of the event gear sets. Um, and if you click the trophy, it'll show you which one. So you'll see that, um, these shelves are required to make any Corsair equipment. Um, this next trophy down, the ancient leather, is the special ingredient required to make any Stark Relic piece in the Stark Relic event set, um, and so on and so forth. Now, what are these little jewels? Um, so if it has a little jewel, that means that it is a material that will make a certain trinket. Um, and you have to have that material to make a trinket. Again, special event creatures will come along um, every now and then. They'll drop um, these, you know, amber strong wine dredge. Um, or they'll drop the artisan's compass elements. Artisan compasses are kind of important because of their stats. But so the jewels are for trinkets and the little trophies are event gear. Um, and this is under your advanced materials. So, um, you know, it takes you straight to this is the type of trinket that it's for. Okay. As you can see, the Amber Strong Wine is training capacity and healing speed are its stats. Um, you know, your artisan's compass. Um, you'll see that construction speed, training speed, training capacity, um, 
banker's pouch, uh, march size, rally troop capacity is what that gives you. Um, and that sort of thing. So um, there is one. Um, all of these are dropped by special event creatures except for these Vintner's Cask. Um, the Vintner's Cask are used to make the Vintner's Goblet, which increases your training capacity and increases march speed. So if you are brand new to the game um, and you are looking at your gear and your trinket slot right here, if I unequip it, um, your trinket slot probably looks like this right now. It's just empty. Um, and you really want a trinket. Um, what you can do is go to your Maester's Tower in the Expeditions and the Expeditions right here. Um that are these, the Vintner's Goblet, um, ones is where you get those trinket pieces from. Okay. So, uh, I hope that helps you understand what the difference is between basics are used to craft all kinds of different Tyrell gear, Conqueror's gear, Kingsguard gear, Kingsguard, Stark Relic, Falcon Knight. They're just a basic ingredient used in a lot of different gear pieces. Um, Whereas your advanced materials are specifically for a single event set or a single trinket type that you're going to make at some point. Uh, and then your armory tab right here. Um, so as you can see, since this is just a, a little alt, um, it's not a main account. Um, this is what you'll see on your brand new um keeps when you haven't made any event gear um when the events come along you do want to try and get um the pieces in here okay so this is what it'll look like here if i had a piece in these little wooden notches that are underneath the you know coat the skirt the hat the little bottle of poison the strangler is the weapon of that gear set um the boots and the ring um, when you have pieces in here, these will light up, um, depending on, you know, it'll say like a five, if you have a five in there or something, a level five ring, it'll have a little five in the furthest left box. And if the ring that you made was legendary, it'll be gold. Or if it's poor, it'll be the color of the poor. Um, and then it, you see, it shows you right here what each gear set does if you have it in your armory. So my best advice is when it comes to crafting anything that you have not in the armory to wear, you're always going to want that to be the highest level and optimally, um, you know, epic, legendary, you know, or exquisite. Some people go ahead and they'll go down to exquisite once they get real high level gear. Okay. Um, when you're looking basically at, at this, you see that each gear set will give you certain stats, um, depending on the pieces that are inside. And we'll talk detailed about those in another video. I just kind of wanted to give you an overview of the different buttons, um, on the smithy. So, um, I'll do another video that's just crafting something at the smithy. Um, and then we'll do a videos precisely on your event gear, each individual set. And we'll do another video just for crafting for your armory. Okay. Um, so look out for those videos, but that's what the buttons do, um, on that, on the outside. All right, this is Mistress Yoda signing out.